Journal of Food Research in Canada. Now they have a, they published a, published a study. Um, they have a, a collaboration with Clemson University. They did a study um, about birthday cakes and germs spread on a birthday cake, let's say on Monday, August 7th, when you blow the candles out. Meaning the germs that I would <clears throat> Here you spread. go. Happy Here you go. Guys, get everything of mine. Yes, to find out, students at Clemson spread foil on a styrofoam base, and then they spread frosting on the foil. To make sure everyone's saliva was going, was going to st they wanted to stimulate a party environment, the test subjects that were brought in ate pizza before proceeding to the cakes. I guess they thought that that was... <laughs> That was just a fucking. That was a. That was a little loophole that they got. They were yeah. like, "We can get pizza out of the deal too." Free pizza, <laughs> Papaginos. That's cool. Yeah, to really simulate the. Like yeah, the pizza party that these the adults pizza, are having. <laughs> it's pizza a birthday cake yeah. party. No, adults haven't had pizza. Well, I guess they do. Adults still. So yeah. Um. For each of the eleven test subjects, they lit the candles and they blew them out, and then they took the samples from the frosted area and grew them in agar. On average, blowing out the candles on a sample meant 15 times more bacteria was present. That's 1,500% more bacteria. There was a lot of variation from person to person in the amount of saliva that they admitted. The bacteria hanging out of their mouths or both. The biggest difference compared to the control cake was between three times greater, 300%, and 140 times greater, 14,000%. So your cake could be up to 14,000 <laughs> percent greater percent saliva greater. Here's the thing. Unless the person celebrating Jonathan's birthday is obviously sick, these mouth bacteria are the same ones that we come in contact with on a daily basis. Uh, have you stood near a person who coughed or sneezed? Do you venture out in public? Do you kiss people? Yeah, well, not at least 11 test. Hi. <laughs> Kissed all 11. <laughs> Strangers. At Clemson for pizza. <laughs> if so, you've come in contact with the same spit bacteria that people emit when blowing out candles. It's just now that we all know that they're there on the cake. I've never not thought of that since I was a little, little kid. Yeah. Yeah. It's so obvious. You put these little pouty lips together. You're all juiced up because everyone's chanting your name. Seth, 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 Seth. Like, <sighs> blowing hard. Yeah, get blowing as out. hard as you can to prove you have your daddy's lungs and sperm. <laughs> yeah. Sam, Sam. Sam. I don't know if anyone's <laughs> ever done that. I want them to. I've always dreamt I've that. I've heard it in my <laughs> head. I've heard it in my head. The candle says 11. Um, Sam, Sam. I, don't, I don't know, man. That's How's bad. How's your fucking cake covered in fucking spit? spit. Spittle. Yeah. I mean, it makes total sense. Uh, a smart mm. person would look at that and yeah. be like, that's not smart that's not a good that's thing not a do. good idea it's not a good idea it's a terrible idea yeah we need to stop it basically you should c cut a piece of cake put the candle on it have the kid blow it out and he that's did that. it you ceremoniously cut the first cake for the birthday boy and or girl and yeah they blow out a candle with the number of their age yep solved i'm sure there's germaphobe parents that have done that yeah probably now yeah I mean, these kids are loaded up with germs but adults their germs are worse more potent because they've been you know yeah germinating so many brothels they've been to so many european brothels at this age yeah that by now by now at this point in time <laughs> uh, usa today snapshots the heading on this is 